All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back briefly to Beyond Two Souls. As I had mentioned in the previous video, which should have been the ending video, that uh, I kind of wanted to maybe go back into the game and see what the other ending was because I'd rather kind of uh, experience it for myself rather than just look it up because that would be the easy-peasy way out. I think I'm actually going to do the same with Grand Theft Auto's uh, Trevor ending. I don't really want to spoil too much about that, but I think I've already spoiled some stuff about it. Sorry, my bad. Uh, the game has only been out for like a month and a half, maybe? A month and a quarter, something like that. I want to go and experience one of the other endings um, in that game. It's pretty much what I'm just trying to say. But uh, there were only, as far as I know, two endings for this game. I don't know if there's like... I guess you could get some minor differences in the ending, uh, depending on like what you do, who you do and don't save, and... I'm not going to go through all that and do that. I mean, I already had to spend, like, 30 minutes just playing through the last sequence, like, the Black Sun chapter, and I don't really feel like going back and doing alternate things and then going through the ending and see what little thing was changed. I don't know. I'm just on some sort of rant here. So, last time I picked uh, the Beyond ending, this time I'm going to pick the Life ending, and we'll see what that is like. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. So we can't die yet. We're gonna choose the living ending. I was wondering why it wouldn't, like... Okay, so now we have, like... Okay, I guess this makes sense. I really hope it doesn't force me to pick this beyond ending, because I'd be really upset that I just played, like, 30 minutes. Yeah, sh Shimasani? Got Paul? Universe. Shimasami still looks upset. Being with Aiden and those I've loved forever. We like barely talked to Shimasani and Paul though. Like that was a pretty brief moment of our life. And we never even really talked to our mom. So I almost picked Beyond. We're gonna choose life this time, because last time I picked Beyond, so let's see what happens if you choose good old life. If you say fuck it, I don't wanna die, I'm gonna stay with Ryan. I mean we could live for a little bit. Like, you know, we'll get to beyond eventually. It might take a good 40, 50 years or so, depending on how long we live for. But, like, see, we could experience that anytime. You can't experience life forever, though. So we'll see what happens if we go back and uh, choose life. So does that just mean that we don't shut down the thing at all and we're just like, fuck this, we're getting out of here? That or she's just running away from the explosion. Oh, shit. Yeah, use Ryan's ass to shield yourself from the blast. Does Ryan die? That would be... That'd be kind of crappy. I mean, I didn't like the guy that much. Nah, he still seems alive. He's blinking. Moving a little bit. He's okay. Well, your eyeball is still dead, but yeah, I guess essentially we are still alive. We were like 18 feet away from the explosion. How in the hell did we live? Did Aiden shield us? Aiden's gone. We made it. He's dead. Jody, we made it. Well, Aiden? Rip Aiden. Sorry, we'll get you another disembodied spirit somewhere else. I'm sure they're gonna have a sale at Walmart sometime. I don't know. You can pick someone up somewhere. It won't be as good as Aiden, but maybe we can try. It's okay, you've got Ryan now. We don't we don't need Aiden anymore. We've definitely got Ryan. I am going to miss messing with people. Oh, look, they got a nice little cabin in the woods near a mountain. They're living the life. Hey, look at how tranquil that is.
Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. Oh, she's getting like Alzheimer. What the? I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. Couldn't have a happy ending, could we? No, guess not. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments. Now that they know it's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Iden. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. Oh great, yes, a sad ending. Just what this game needed. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Where is Ryan at? At least... Crying all day. At least we could have had him. Yeah, she's crying in the ending. Another segment. I know, it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. Oh, please don't tell me that was the ending. Okay, we still, got, we, just, we still got some ending here. Hold on. Hold on, before you throw in the sad towel, we still got some ending. Cole is still alive. Good. <laughs> Round of applause for Cole. I swear to God, if he dies in this ending, like, if the CIA assassinates him or something. I figured at least if you chose life, you would be with Ryan. Alright, so he knows that uh, she's still alive. That's good. It took months. Months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. Oh, so I can choose Zoe, Jay, Ryan, alone. So there's like four different things you can choose then? I can't do all of these endings. Uh, who the hell is Jay? Someone remind me who the fuck Jay is, because I have no idea who Jay is. Like, I have not the faintest idea who Jay is. Like, Zoe's the baby. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was the older chick who had the baby. I think Zoe was the baby. So we can stay alone. That seems pretty... Like, what? You know, I thought there would be, like, you know, a definitive ending I could choose here and be done. But no, there's, like, four different endings. I'm just going to pick one. Fuck it. I'm not going to play through the last chapter like four times to get all of these different endings. I mean, the the best thing to do is choose Ryan. Like, I don't know who the hell Jay is. Either I don't remember him or I never ran into him. I mean, we haven't heard anything about Zoe in like the longest. Plus, she was shown in the uh, the other ending, I'm pretty sure. So like, 
the logical thing would be to choose Ryan then, I guess. Like, that was what I assumed was going to happen. You know, you choose this ending, you you make amends with Ryan, you do that. Like, I figured that... Who the fuck is Jay? Fuck it. I'm going Ryan. It's so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. Like, I don't want to be alone. the silence around me. To hear what I was feeling. Alright, so there's a bunch of different endings then. I did not know that it was going to be like that. There's there's it a branching a path. I've been alone and sad for so long. I, I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. Hey, nice vest. Oh, look at him smile. Just melting her away inside. Looks like he lives in the same neighborhood as Cole. Why couldn't I pick Cole? Like, that'd be a... I would pick that ending in a heartbeat. You pick Cole? Like, I love that man. That man was amazing. I'm glad he didn't die. I still, I still don't remember who the hell Jay was. To be quite honest. Like, I don't know who else you would pick. Like, why would you pick Zoe? Like, who cares about Zoe? We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. Good, just ignore it. Pretend like it doesn't exist. Don't even think about it. It'll just make As you sad. It could never come back into our lives. They're getting down on this beach. Welcome to the 35th season of Survivor. Something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? Nothing good can happen in this game without something terrible happening. Here it comes. A meteor's gonna hit them, isn't it? I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Wait a minute. Coconuts just don't roll on their own. He's going to get pushed into the fire, isn't he? Something bad's gonna happen. Something bad has to happen. It's beyond two souls. Uh oh, he's still. Oh, he's still here. Aiden or some other spirit related to Aiden is still here. Why has he been hiding out this whole time? What was he trying to? Okay, that that noise scared the fuck out of me. I'm not even gonna lie. Has he been like trying to let her live her life this whole time? Like, that was a really scary noise though. She doesn't even, like, move the coconut. She just, like, leaves it there. Where'd that coconut even come from? There's not even a tree within, like, 80 feet of her. Like, they're all behind her. Man, he must have rolled that coconut. Must have been rolling that coconut a pretty far way to get it to her. Oh, I think we've already seen this. I see things at night. Terrifying things. Oh no, it's her. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. 
once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. It's so basically the ending's a little bit, well, a lot of it different, I guess. I mean, in the other one, you kind of, you just kind of die, and then Ryan's like really sad, but then you're a spirit, and you're just kind of flying around. And I, don't know, I, I didn't know that it was gonna have even more branching paths in that scenario, because the other one, the Beyond one, was just like one flat ending. Like it might have been a little bit different depending on who you let die or who you were able to save, but. In this one, it was like, okay, you have to make a decision on whether you want to be alone, whether you want to be with someone named Jay, who I've obviously forgotten about, whether you wanted to do something with Zoe, who was the woman slash baby that you met earlier in the game, or Ryan. I figured Ryan would have been the best choice. I mean, that's kind of why I would have picked life at that point, but I, unless there's an easier way to get to those endings, I don't think I'm going to go back and play through the Black Sun chapter three more times to see what the other endings were. I just, I don't see that happening. That ending was at least a little bit happier. That wasn't that bad. I mean, it was okay, I guess. I, I don't really know which ending I like better. And now that there are three other endings, apparently, that probably all culminate in the same ending. I don't know. I don't really think one ending was way better than the other one. I mean, like, the other one explains kind of what happens after you die, which is cool, but this one, this one was kind of happier until, like, the very end of it, because then it just turns into Terminator, and then everything's all fucked up. Instead of Skynet, it's, like, Entity Net, where there's just a bunch of scary ghosts going up and, you know, fucking everything up, so that's... That's great. That's the only other ending I'm going to do. I'm not going to do the other three. I'm sorry. I just... Unless someone can tell me of a much easier way to get to those endings, I don't want to play through the Black Sun chapter again. So, that'll be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this second look at one of the other endings for Beyond Two Souls. I, I thought there were only two definitive endings, but apparently I was 100% uh, wrong about that, it would seem. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and wrap this up. I I don't know what to really tell you about the other endings. Like, I don't I don't really know if I think one was better than the other. I, I kind of like the Beyond ending a little bit more, I guess. Even though it wasn't, like, the happiest. Like, this one seemed to be a little bit happier. But, like, I don't know. This game was just sad. And, like, nothing could turn around the sadness that this game has brought upon humanity for playing it. So, yeah, hope, hopefully you enjoyed the second look at a different ending. We're not going to watch the entirety of the credits because we've already done that in the other video. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, one more look into it. And uh, I will see you guys for maybe if they release some DLC for this game. I don't really know if they've talked about it. I know they released some DLC for Heavy Rain, but I didn't really like the DLC for Heavy Rain. I'm not like, I don't know, I don't, I don't even want to go into it. I just didn't really like the DLC for Heavy Rain a whole lot. Plus, my recording screwed up when I tried to record the, the DLC for Heavy Rain, so that just put a, an even more sour taste in my mouth, because uh, the recording screwed up anyway, and I only got to show a little bit of it instead of the whole thing, but... Yeah, if, they, if you guys know if there's any DLC to be announced or to be released, then go ahead and tell me in a comment or Twitter or somewhere. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't, but there might be a perfectly good reason why they wouldn't, so... Yeah, that'll probably be the last of it for Beyond Two Souls. If I've ever called this game The Last of Us, I'm sorry. I don't know why I would do that. But if there's any DLC, I'll do that. If not, I'm wrapping it up. I'm just talking in circles now. So I will see you guys later.